Let's have a look at this, shall we? Let's do this. Catherine, say hello to Kazuha. Ah, traveler. It so happens that a friend of yours asked me to pass on a message when I saw you. It's a voice message, Catherine. Hello. Well, do I have a voice message for you too? YouTube, welcome in to maybe the first part of the event or maybe just the entire thing. I'm not too sure how we're going to be uploading this just yet. However, this probably will make it into a YouTube video. So welcome. Say hi to the Twitch chat. Twitch chat, say hello to YouTube. Someone left a message for us? Huh. Who could it be? Gotta be Kazuha. My beloved retainer. <laughs> Have you noticed that silver thread of which fate is woven, now twisting and twining itself around you? The Aug de Vertalung does... Mm, does... Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus will be watching you... Okay, Catherine, it's it's hard. It is hard. But I genuinely thought that she was just speaking in Fischl's voice for a second, and I that would have confirmed the robot theory. <sighs> You good? Deep breaths? Well, uh, oh, it's facial. Come on. <laughs> we, we can cover that it's facial. Apologies. This message is unusually difficult to recite. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Definitely sounds like facial's note. What should we do? I'd love to hear more. We'll be watching you as you step into the glorious castle of the Immer Nockreich. Come to me at once. Swear an oath to me in my blessed name, Ooh. and we shall journey together to the depths of the world. Okay. Anyway, to summarize, Miss Fischl asked me to ask you to go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. Please meet her there when you have the time. She said that she will be waiting for you. Okay. Oh, Fischl. Such a mystifying message for such a plain and simple request. It always is, Paimon. Well, if Fischl's expecting us, then let's not keep her waiting. Let's head to Plaza. I am down. They absolutely butchered German. Smoge. Fischl and Mona. And Oz. I love Oz. I love Oz's voice. Speak yes, to me, Sir Oz. And Mona, too. Hello. Broke Mona. <laughs> Is she with the newer outfit? Welcome, welcome, most loyal attendants of the Princessin. Oh, thank you, thank you. Speak to me, Oz. Okay. Well, this is what I was gonna say, okay? That a lot of y'all won't have seen this. This is my first time ever meeting Fischl in the fucking game. And, uh, I was gonna mention this before, but I'm gonna save it until the very end of this, okay? I'm gonna save my thoughts till the very end. But hello, Fischl. Lovely to meet you. Which one is it? Retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. Okay. <laughs> My apologies. Yes! I mean, Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Main Fräulein. Hey, you were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? Nice to see you all again. <laughs> it's been a while. And so, the whisper of eternal night summons you back to my side. Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subject. God, you are so extra, and I fucking love it. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Oh, well, thank you. Paimon wants to say a proper hello, too, but <laughs> Paimon has no idea how to... Uh... Partake. God damn it. A normal person in the situation would simply say, Hi, traveler, how have you been? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up for a, a second, real quick. Did she. Did Mona just turn British all of a sudden? Did she just go to London and ask for a bottle of water? What? Hello? Huh? Fine, thanks. The Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. I just met you! Today! Now! Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Mm -hmm. Lady M M <laughs> A what now? Is that your new nickname? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. 
Interesting. <laughs> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. This is so embarrassing. You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Yes. Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. There's a lot of big words happening, and I've just come back from four days of a lot of alcohol and a lot of people, and 12 hours of travel in one day, and this is hard to process right now, official. but I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. <clears throat> you told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. Yes. <sighs> Excuse me. It's fine. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Oh. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. That's kind of awkward. Uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. You can't phase us. True, actually, we have. Oh, faithful servants. Don't call me that. homeland, the Imanok Reich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation. For the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Uh huh. Uh, I mean, it's wait, yeah. what? Okay, bye, bye. Just, just she said, stand and imagine, Indeed. right? Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. Uh huh. <clears throat> the Imanok Reich is near Mondstadt. Okay, I'll report this to the Knights of Favorius immediately. No, please. Jesus, that oh. would be most unnecessary. Sorry, dilute then. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this. I promise. Okay. Basically, what Fischl means is. But, oh no. Uh, Lady Magistus. Huh? Uh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me—a genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, her highness <gasps> encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. What? Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. Oh, no way. It was already getting dark, so in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, her highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. God, I feel like Fischl and Klee having a conversation would be so... Adorable, but so confusing. On the way, her highness relayed to Klee the story of her oh, origins. God. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of her highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with Aww. tears welling up in her eyes. Any bombs? Oh, no. <laughs> Is the Imanok Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? Oh. <laughs> Oh, mortal, your sovereign's <laughs> heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanok Reich is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Wait. So I... how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell me. Please, please. <sighs> this event is not what I expected so far. Hmm. Please. Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> Give unto me a tranquil haven. Promise me eternal admiration. Lend me both time and wind. Uh huh. And one shall revive one's home world. Wind, hear me. Could you cut the reenactment and just get to the point? Yes. In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernal Crash will appear. I didn't believe it either at first, but Wait. I saw this letter. Wait. Huh? She take a small loan of a million dollars from Kali? <laughs> Providence has gifted Main Fräulein with an excellent opportunity. Esteemed traveler, as Main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. Mm -hmm. This island looks kind of familiar. Fucking doesn't to me since I wasn't here for... Okay, okay. I was gonna say this towards the end of the event, but I can't if they're gonna keep doing this shit, okay? If you're gonna do this, make the fucking things story-related. Make it fucking permanent. I've just met Fischl, one of the first four stars in the fucking video game today after playing for almost a year already, dude. Like, okay, why is Albedo stuff all tied behind limited events? Why is Fischl stuff all tied behind limited fucking events? I shouldn't have to go and watch a previous event to understand this event, which is also going away. If I started the game after this event, I'd have to rewatch two events just to get the fucking lore. 
It's so stupid. And that's not even FOMO, dude. That's just fucking ridiculous. It's so... I just don't understand it. I do not get it. It, it blows my fucking mind. It blows my fucking mind. They could do better events, but by just having it included in those time frames. I don't know, dude. I, I, there's got to be a reason for it, and I would love to hear the reason. But, like, if this event has a ton of lore in it, like the Albedo one does, it's going to be great, but it's also going to be so disappointing because it's going to be gone from the game in 30 days. And I feel so bad for the people starting afterwards if it does. It does have a bunch of lore. All right, let's let's jump back into this. Sorry, I had to go on a tiny little run, I guess. <laughs> Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanai calls for me. What is that word? Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. Okay. I I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. Oh. <laughs> I'm down. That being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Probably a good what? idea. Why not? <laughs> Klee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. Oh? <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. That old hag? What can I do for you, your highness? You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, Fathom the celestial path oh, her of in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You. Yes, you. Uh huh. Must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. You want me to sail oh, there? Oh, Fischl doesn't know oh. the way there. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um, since thou askest it for our help, Paimon can tell us. You that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the guides of destiny. Oh my god, I love this so fucking much already. That just brought me back to <gasps> Vengeance will be mine! <laughs> oh, Paimon, seriously. Come on, just play along. I'm down. Wait, can I actually play along? Do it, please have a voice line. Fuck! Holy shit, what a pain in the fucking backside. It was the entire, the entire internet just went down apparently. It was very odd. I think it's because of the heat, chat. Oh god, I gotta do the line again. Very well, I am the one whom have traveled here from beyond the stars. Behold, the watcher, the guide, the weaver of dreams, the traveler. It is I, Bran Online. <laughs> oh, excellent, most excellent. <laughs> yes, indeed. A crowd of bemused monsters watches on as this spectacle continues for another half hour to again. <laughs> Traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. For the princess, and Lady Magistus, leave it to me. Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness. I feel that. Your uh, other distinguished selves let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning okay very well then it is settled one blesses you with an undisturbed slumber lady magistus me please you too traveler thank you main Fräulein means to say good night <laughs> see you all tomorrow <laughs> she means About to say time. Good night. she means to say beg it is beg time Okay, let's go. Goodbye. I will take my leave to go and bedge. Goodbye, Oz. Oz is fucking huge, dude. Holy shit. Oz is oh, actually massive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all have proper rules. How come Paimon has to be a clock on the wall in the royal palace? Well, we can put an apple in your mouth and you can be the hog roast if you want. Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock sharp in the Immernox right. Oh my god, her facial expressions, dude. <laughs> You're the one who started it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> since those islands are a pretty mind-blowing place, uh -huh. why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Like... Chaos mind works in mysterious ways, but no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like a certain somebody who's definitely going to be in the tavern at this hour. Do Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. Deluke? The Golden Apple Vacation returns. 
fantastic. Oh, Venny. Now it starts. Okay, sweet. I'm so done, dude. I'm so done today. It's too warm for this. Oh! Wait! Uh, huh? What are they doing in Mondstadt? Hello? Whoa, look at that. You're really here. Uh-huh. Take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Okay, Mr. Winky. Wow, Traveler, palm on. Speak of the devil. We were literally just talking about you. Okay, again, and another one. Why Why do you only appear in fucking uh, limited time events? <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Oh, it very much is. Shinran, what are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the Tone Deaf Bard? Also true. Tone Deaf Bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. Mm hmm. Seems like you're a pretty well known singer, fella. Sing well, it, Venny. Certainly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. Yes. So, you all know each other. Damn my it. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it a... Uh, a free poet society or something like that. I don't know about that one. Sorry. Uh, 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 the playing cards look cool, though. Is that a new uh, trading card game? Maybe one that Ayato plays and Ito? Uh, you guys came here from Liyua? Yeah. I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazuha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Wow, Last the way she month, says Kazuha. Beto held a big booze filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship. Ooh. She put me in charge of the music. That's where I met Kazuha. Interesting. Yin can come across as unruly at times. <laughs> Her musical understanding is highly nuanced. Unruly? Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh my. Never. Never do that again, Kazuha. I totally forgot what I was gonna say because you just made that awful pun, please. Oh, you can say that again. Oh. In Kazuha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. He eats that it. makes him an expert among my friends. He eats the leaf. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Huh? Oh, yeah. We know the one. My friend owns that place. Oh, the D Deluxe Winery? Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? No, he's so sad uh, all the time. Uh, yes, so. <laughs> nope. Nope. So incredibly sad. Their so souls tend to attract each other. And bored. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. I do. Wow, you're too nice. Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. Really? By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. This motherfucker! I skipped out on the emergency food part at the beginning of the game. You know what? I wish I'd fucking picked it now. I still love Paimon, but God! Just listen once, Paimon. I've been nothing but fucking nice to you. Not anymore. Dinner, plate, I remember. No, I've never heard of it, actually. Well, so far, it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. Oh. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again. Again? How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? I don't know. I ask myself the same thing about trains all the fucking time. Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. Maybe. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your temple of music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't Ooh. you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? Yes, true. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. Are we gonna get a venti story? <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. Aww. 
I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. Oh. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. There was absolutely no need for that fucking slow burn, dude. <laughs> no need. <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. Huh. Oh, this when is the recap. When a is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend <sighs> the children there. That's... Wait, is that how Klee found Dodoko? Oh! One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt. Yes! A little spark knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. What a bitch. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So she blew it up. <laughs> so the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo oh. King had lied. <gasps> there was no trial. Lying to Clee? Or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Oh, that's really cute. God, really taking in those applause, eh? Really thick. Oh, strange, I was just about to ask about the island. How interesting. Almost as if he knew. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. I love Kazuha so <laughs> much, dude. Liked it. Oh, well, I love him. There's wine on the table, and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. True. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Hell yeah. Don't worry. If you don't like wine, there's juice as well. I, I don't want juice. I'm fine. I, I will drink the wine. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. <laughs> hmm. This one. I like the color. I think this is how Alves picks his drinks. <laughs> Somehow you get dreaded to drink it one glass after another until suddenly the text moves so quiet you can't. Oh, ka oh no, Kazuha! Kazuha, it's juice. It's it is juice, right? Oh, this fellow's drunk. But uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? Wait. <laughs> more, 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 more. <laughs> Wait, what? More, more, please. <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. Seriously? So good. Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drink. <laughs> What? You came here because you need my help, I presume? I don't give a shit about your help anymore. I don't even care about the island anymore. I want more drunk Kazuha, dude. Holy shit, please. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. We didn't come here to drink. Oh, my God. Uh, Vinny, come with me. Fine. But please say something else, Kazuha. Please. That was too good. No. Are we leaving? No. <laughs> what the? Hey, the traveler got a new skin. Kazuha? Kazuha! Oh, he just won't wake up. <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight. Oh, no. Why <laughs> is he laughing in his sleep? Why is, why, is he, why is he laughing? Why is he laughing and giggling, dude? That's so fucking good. Oh, why? Why is this a thing? That's too good. <gasps> wake up! One with nature. One with nature? Yeah, you could say that. You are a close friend. I will leave you guys be to talk about whatever the fuck you're talking about, I guess. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Hmm, look where we are. <laughs> yep. I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Yes. 
You tell Funny about the spot that given an island official officials plans to head there. Special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. True, she is. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, I thought that guess was which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today. I thought that was obvious. Hmm. Master Team or Lisa? What? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. <laughs> you didn't mean it like that? That's fine. <laughs> yes. Ding, ding, ding. Wait. Dancer. Did, did we... Are we supposed to not know that? Doesn't she come back pretty often to... I am paying attention. Doesn't she come back pretty often to see Klee? No? Just letters? Ah, oh, fuck. I, I always thought she just came back to see her. The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. Is it a selfie? She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. What is it? Oh, God, what is it? Ah, it's a bomb! No! Please, that is... Uh, it's got a cute Minus face, though. Piece. So, don't worry. It's not going to explode. Oh. Come on, take it. This way, we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's a phone? That sounds impressive. It's called a Dodo communication device. <laughs> no. And it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. No. However, you can't just use it anytime you want. And there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. Oh, she didn't get the unlimited data plan. Smoge did. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. She and Klee asked me to tell you. Uh -huh. Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Hold up, what? Alice been to Earth? <laughs> The fuck? What do you mean, inspiration from another world? Which world? Tell us. Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Sounds like the two of you are in cahoots over this. Huh. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Yes. Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Fine. Ah, fair enough. The Toad Deaf Guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Kazuo and Shinyan seem pretty interested in coming on this trip too. Oh my I god, are we all? They want to join us. Are we all gonna go? Please. But 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 he's still asleep. <laughs> Oh, you're back. Oh. Poor Kazuha's still out for the count. It seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Oh, she no. Can. Do you want to come to the islands with us? I can carry Kazuha. It's fine. Adventure. Uh-huh. Can't. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. No, come he on. He really interested just a moment ago. Come with us. Can't miss... Oh. The adventure. Open your eyes, Kazuha. Oh. <laughs> Kazuha might act mature, but deep down, he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must Cut be why down. he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, it, well he thought, thought it was fruit juice. To join the island trip. Oh, God damn it. No, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even bards. Yeah? Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. Both? There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Kazuha, wake up! We're going wandering! <laughs> mm. <laughs> yep, it is. Traveler? It is I. Oh, yeah. They don't official yet, do they? Oh god. Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you heard. Uh, Paimon, <sighs> don't get me wrong. I'm just asking to make sure. 
but from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, <sighs> did the iridescence tour folks put you up to this? No. After all, canceling the iridescence tour after people already made the trip, that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, eh? But we don't probo people. Uh, why won't you believe Paimon? <laughs> don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Yes. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? <sighs> what? I'm sure looking forward to it. Why am I nervous for this? Are you coming too, Vanny? Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. Okay, that's hella sus. What do you mean? You're serious? The Toad Dev Bard actually has plans to do some work? Venny Quest Act 2? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. <sighs> ah, yes. The competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? <laughs> yup. I can always sing on their roof. You he told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, oh, what a God. fine employment opportunity. Virtually tailor-made for me. I never thought when he was allergic to cats, but he'd be allergic to Diona. But it makes sense. So have fun. And don't worry oh. about me. <laughs> I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. Same, honestly. Especially if we get drunk Kazuha more often. That'd be kind of sick. That would be wonderful. Is it just me who never realized just how big Oz actually is? Today is the day of one's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past. The shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu. For today, it is time for... Retribution. That was a lot all at once, Facial. That was a lot all at once. Vengeance will be mine. Also, what is this? This cool little, like, hand emotion. <gasps> it's time for retribution. Oh, God. Give me the chain sound effects as well. Jesus Christ. Main Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not <laughs> Wait, did she sound outright, like your own. Wait, did she outright rip it from Delic? <laughs> It wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. <laughs> well, she did. Uh, uh, um, I mean, thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous sayings she has heard in the land. Oh, you brought you brought character. The importance of this day. Oh, you brought character slightly. Uh, let me see. Oh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. God damn it! You're so cool, Mona. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so shy. <laughs> <laughs> she looks right. so shy. You're here early. Yes. Hi. Hello. Who have you brought with you? Drunk Kazuha. Are you still drunk for the night before, Kazuha? Oh. <clears throat> Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. Wait, my camera died because of the heat. Bro, today is just not the day, dude. Today is just not the fucking day. Holy shit. He must be the princess Paimon told us about. He sure do look the part. I, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. Oh, hell yeah. And this lady over here. My family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you, too. Oh, I like her. She can stay. What the? That was Shenan, weird. Your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. Hell yeah. <laughs> She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. I love oh, them. Well, this is a nice good group. You too. This is a great group of people. Honestly, it is. They they work so well together. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. Yep. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. 
You're so good. And you, Kazuha. Divulge thy epithets in thy vocation. What does what hole mean? Kazuha doesn't have holes. Only me. Oh, main <laughs> Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Oh, thanks, Oz. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. Uh-huh. Just like me. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. <laughs> what? Is he really that powerful? Yes. Let me take a look. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, she's gonna see some crazy oh. shit. Oh my. Hey! Eyes off the prize! <laughs> Hi, Kazuha. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great sword master like you. Hey! Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? Moda down what horrendous! Declares you, captain of the Royal Guard of the Imanakreish. Oh For my! Even Lady Magistus to praise your skills. You are surely one of rare talent. What did she look at? It better have been him parrying the blade or something. Not anything worse than. Hey, and why did he just smile like he knew what she was looking at? Hey, PG, Mona, PG. Although you are absolutely right. Okay, Lady M Mage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you Lady good? Lady Mage. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. Okay, fair. By the way, Lady Mage, we found out how to get to the promised land. Paimon, listen for once, <laughs> please. <laughs> she just said it. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone, follow Paimon. Fuck, <laughs> she just said stop calling her it. <laughs> and you'd say it anyway. Jesus. What in the fuck? Is that a furnace? <laughs> Go away, Timmy. Don't look at me like that. Hey, Timmy, watch this. Into the wind. I'm a bird. Feed me. I want bread. Okay, let's go. What the <laughs> fuck? Hopefully my camera doesn't die again. Please don't die, camera. Please. Look, everyone. Here's our vehicle. That's a vi- I am not getting in that thing. Hmm. Yeah, no, I feel that. Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. I, I, honestly, I agree. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? Ah. Uh? No. Oh my god, Ether's face did. <laughs> no, it it doesn't. <laughs> Guoba. Is he the magical creature at Wan Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it, no. it does look quite similar. No, it doesn't. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. I'm losing my mind. Hmm. What's up? I see, I see. Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Imanakreish born anew. Ho oh, ho, behold, the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz, lead the way. What are these words? I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. Okay, go. A lot of retribution is happening. <laughs> Magic. Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the promised land. <laughs> retribution. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. Yes, read Paimon. Majestus, it's fine. This is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. We're going to get in there and we're going to find purple fowl for a special dish is my bet. Paimon, why do you look high? You know what? It, it's fine. Oh, I completely forgot. <sighs> All right. Yeah? Oh, God. I wouldn't get in that thing. Would you get in that thing? Would you get in that thing? YouTube, what about you? Everyone exchanges glances before one by one, stepping nervously but excitedly into the Dodo Fortress. The journey is an eventful one and maybe a little it's crowded. Now, let's all try and stick. Ow! Fischl, you're treading on my hair. I thought it was a snake. Ah, what? We're flying. Everyone, be careful. What? What is going on? I feel high. Are we. Are we. Are we there? Uh, ooh! We finally landed. What was that all 
about? Ooh. Beach. Is there a wait? Is it an what actual a beautiful place? The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. Why is this giving me Destiny Island vibes from Kingdom Hearts, dude? Even with the music. Wow. The, the, the OSD is really nice here. Anyone else? Kingdom Hearts vibes? <gasps> Bombs! I mean, Donacles. Yep. Paimon's feeling way better already now that we can see the ocean. I like the ocean. <gasps> it is very An pretty. ocean of life. And a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed oh. paradise that one has been searching for. Oh? Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I don't know what that means. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Hmm. <laughs> The music change up is confusing Shall me. I'll lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Was that a character break there, little Miss Fischl? Huh? <sighs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, Your Highness. Oh. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmanuel Reich. Mona, oh. Oh. what are you? Uh, <laughs> Uh, don't ask. Just follow my lead. Okay. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the princessin who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, your highness. Uh-huh. Your happiness gladdens one's heart. Ah, <sighs> how it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Maybe we'll watch a video just on Fischl's lore and backstory. Yeah? Do we do that? I don't know. I think we should do that. It's so cool, dude. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. We'll do it after the event. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, Blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. What? Mm -mm -mm. Huh? Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps oh. not the most talented swimmer. Wow. Oh, official? That's enough. I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius? Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady. Oh, oh Jesus, my, Mona! Fräulein. Steal yourself, main Fräulein. God dab. Oh yeah, swimming race, swimming race. Whoever uh, comes to uh, is a rat neck. But she could run on the water, dude. <laughs> like, how do they not know this? Challenge accepted. Heed my words, lowly lady magician. Then again, she could turn it on. Pay for your foolishness for as long as you live. Ridiculous. I've never lost a single swimming race in my life. Bring it on. First one to run to the beach wins. Fun fact. Wait, first one to run to the beach? That's not swimming then. I have also never lost a swimming race in my entire life, chat. Because I've never taken part in a swimming race. Go! Ready, set, go! Are they serious? Running? I thought they were gonna swim. Yeah, same. Like, this is, a, this is swimming in the air. Never mind, looks like they're enjoying this. I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Uh, well, I, I did have plans, actually, to get you drunk again. But sure, yeah, we can count on you. <laughs> Chinyan, are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. <laughs> Mona and Fischl have gone swimming and someone's got to set up camp. True. Don't worry, I got this. You're going to take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Chat, not... <laughs> I'm not trying to get him drunk for any reason other than he's funny when he's drunk, Ned. Jesus, y'all are so down horrendous. <laughs> So down bad. So down bad. Oh, shit. Whoa, wait a minute. 
Bro, okay, why? Why is this a limited time fucking thing? Pisses me off so much, dude. This should not be a limited time thing. We should be able to just visit this. This is so cool, dude. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a puzzle from last year. What, so like a little Easter egg? I can check these, right? Uh, Agafia, I'm fine. It's just a little stomach ache. Huh? All right. Well, I found four apples. You can have them when you're feeling a little better. Oh. But the mission. Don't worry about that, Zakar. I'll take care of it. You just head up there and get a good rest. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I like that. The lady VA sounded really, uh, uh, God, it's so hot that I'm losing brain cells. Pog, dude. Zakar, don't push yourself. Familiar, yes, familiar. Look, uh, there's a cave over there. A cave. Let's go and rest for a while. No, no rest for the wicked. Deja vu -y. You know what? Instead of saying familiar in future, I'm just going to say deja vu -y. That is such a better word. That is such a fucking better word. Holy Time shit. Hey, that sounds deja vu -y. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> Give me another one. What's going on? Why are there so many hilly trolls around our signal testing site? Come here. A mirror maiden? Time to go. Are you friendly? No shot. Huh? I have to get back. I have to get back. He's still there, but my brothers are gone and their photo. We aren't getting through to her. Let's leave her alone for now. Jesus, dude. When you get a close... The design of Mirror Maidens? Holy shit. God fucking... De Holy shit. The back tattoo too? No, chat. Stop looking at the booba. I'm looking at the overall... She looks like a Tenno from behind. Like from uh, Warframe, dude. Oh, this is interesting. Uh... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Hello! What is this contraption? Hey, what's that huge weird thing over there? That was my question, Paimon, but sure. It appears sure. to be some sort of machine. And an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. Huh. It seems that we are not the first what? to set foot on this island. Interesting. Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days old. Really? Paimon didn't notice them at all. Ha. Huh. <sighs> what is happening? Lick it. Lick it. Taste the soul of the shoe. Traveler, Paimon, stay alert. Oh god, why? Hey, did you see something? Someone was here. And they're still nearby. Judging from the scent, they're visitors here like us. Oh? There's other people here? Oh, Paimon's scared now. Come on, we need to track him down. Did we see anybody else you in the... the cap had traces of hydro on it? Trailer for so it? follow the traces of elemental energy. Ooh, ooh, okay. I don't know why I said ooh, ooh either. I have no idea. Close. Watch out. Hello? It's Blueberry Guy. Wait, no. That's a cryo one. It, it was a hydro one before, I think. God damn it. I thought it was. No, my sword. It's Ready. not. The wind knows me. I thought it was Blueberry Guy, did. Why are there Fatui on this island? I just killed you. <laughs> Isn't there a single place in this world without mint, sweet flowers, and Fatui? They get everywhere like weeds. Jesus Christ. Interesting observation. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Cappy Cap's gone. Where's Cappy Cap? Why does this happen all the time, dude? Listen, we can't just attack every two we come across, dude. This guy was probably nice. Why do we have to hit? He was by himself. They usually travel in packs of like four of them, dude. All different elements, and now we just fucking nearly tried to kill this strange soldier who's crying about Cappy Cap, dude. Are you looking for something? I'm so sad. I can't, I can't, I can't lose it. <laughs> I don't know anything. Give me back Cappy Cap. What is, is this the cap you're looking for? What is Cappy Cap? <laughs> My brother's Cappy Cap. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> what the fuck? I love him. Yes, give him it back. What the fuck? Uh, this guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. Shut up, Bybot. He's cute. Don't bully me or I'll punch you in the... Ah! 
Huh? <laughs> Where? Stop right there. What are you doing here? Who the fuck is this? We can ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Hmm? Who are you? <laughs> Protect Cappy Cap. Your brother will get mad at me. <laughs> Forget the cat. Wait. It's your brother we're looking for. Wait, did he go pipe on the monster? <laughs> Referring to? Oh no! Who the hell is Persikov? A Fatui researcher. What happened to him? Nothing. He has a fever. He's just a little delirious. That's all. Nice voice. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. Okay, don't be rude. I mean, this island belongs to our friend. We did almost kill the guy. You say, Mister? Yeah, Mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to. <clears throat> Never mind. So what? What's that machine for? Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. Why? It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? No, not at all. And this is our island. Don't impede on our vacationing. Yeah, and if you don't do as you're told, we'll... Uh... <laughs> Oh, we'll take his cap! Oh, please don't! <laughs> Paimon's a school bully. Hey, stop crying. All right, I promise we'll stay within this area. Okay? It's still the uh, island. By the way, um, why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. So oh. Say it. Our tests did not go to plan. Saj did. We're getting ready to leave anyway. Oh, well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. Okay, listen. Are these guys not being pretty fucking friendly? Like, dude, I feel like they're not being that bad. Come on, let's go. Jesus. <laughs> okay. I want this guy as a playable character, just this guy. I can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation. Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Yeah, Even new energy vacation, we should device? Stay vigilant. I agree. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Oh? Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation while the Traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? Um, yeah, that makes sense. I'm in. You're so considerate, Kazuha. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like this. True. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. That's a big egg. A random big egg. I want it. Thank you. I'm going to bet Mona won the race. It seems kind of one-sided, but I'm pretty sure Mona will have won the race. We're back! Yeah, we're back. Just in time. So, Traveler, Paimon, oh, you asked who do you me. think the real swimming champion is? You. Me? Or official? Mona. <laughs> Utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. I'll go with whoever Paimon says. Bro, Zach already doesn't get voice lines. The fun is making the decisions. Uh, just go for it. Oh, no, you don't. Don't put this on Paimon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, oh, what then? Paimon, surely you can discern who the true winner is. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Uh-huh. Just go. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Oh, thank you, Xinyan. Oh. <laughs> yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? It was While a you boat. were off doing your own things, I, I guess. got us some seafood and picked us a few fruits. Oh, it hell yeah. It's real good barbecued. Should try roasted lavender melon. I heard it's... All the jazz. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. Yes? 
I too. Fuck it, let's all well, go for a meal. Well, plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mm, time to eat. Yes. Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking. You guys carry on if you want to go hungry. God damn it, dude. She just... <laughs> uh, does Oz eat, I wonder? Oz is real, right? Oh, fucking oh, no, dude. I, I guess we'll figure it out. Barbecue smell. He has to be. Mm, this tastes amazing. You ate um, it all. I want it. Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. Kazuha's cooking? Yo, I bet he cooked some mean food, dude. Looking forward to it already. I want too. Hell yeah. You forgot about something. Why? Uh, let's talk over there. Okay. What the hell did I forget about? Oh, Venny. Come on. It's your time to shine. Oh, the well, phone. Oh, the is bothering you too, Win -win. right? Well, remember the bomb thing that Venti gave us? We can contact him using that. The whole thing with the Fatui really isn't bothering me that much. What bothered me is how you were so rude to the Paimon. Although the big machine thing is kind of odd and very odd, weird and terrifying, actually. No, you got a good point. Yeah, no, you're right. Wait, no, not a bomb. Fenty said it's called a Dodo communication device. Yes. Yeah, let's ask Fenty if he knows anything. It's going to be called he a Dodo phone. He's in on everything, so if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Uh-huh. Dude, this is gonna. <laughs> Dude, not even kidding. I almost just sneezed as well. I was trying to hold it in. Holy shit, that was weird. Hey, uh, miss me already? Hey, Vinny, it's me. <laughs> I know that. <clears throat> you're the only person who can contact me on this thing. Oh, Diona. How come you're sneezing? I forgot about Diona. I'm at the cat's tail. <laughs> so many cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. Oh, no. <laughs> Bless you. Okay. Go on, then. What are you calling about? Pipe, I'll tell him. Could you be any lazier? Give him voice lines and maybe he fucking wouldn't be. <laughs> fucking face, All right, dude. well, Fenty... There's some strange things going on on this island. We ran into the Fatui. <laughs> the Fatui. Oh, God. Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> uh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. I'd be more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. That's fair. But that makes sense. They're ruining our vacation. Ex oh, my God. You are such a spoiled fucking brat. Exactly. Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? Mm, I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. Uh, but uh, don't worry. I may be a lowly tone-deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, Thank you. I, I can't promise I'll be of much help, but uh, at least you'll have someone to talk to, Aww. right? Uh, sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. I gotta say, chat, as uh, like, obviously people say, like, oh, about Venny, like, I wouldn't pull for him because I, I really don't just, I just don't like his playstyle, really. That's the only thing. But as a character dude venny is so fucking like incredible he's just always there i i love venny i love venny so much i love all the characters but Ven venny's just got a special little place ever since that story quest dude oh ever since that story quest it was just mm, always there oh, honestly adventuring is what you do best it's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new but just remember not all unexpected encounters are dangerous the True. same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Oh, my friend, the wind will always be with you. All right, and bless you again for sneezing. Oh, oh, Jesus! I have to go now. 
Okay. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh God, bless you. Okay, bye. Bye, bud. Fucking nice for two fucking seconds, or I swear to God, we're gonna recreate the scene where you're drowning in the beginning of the fucking game. Ah! So he means we don't need to worry too much about the fatui, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, if that's what the tone deaf bard says, then. Fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation yep. where nothing weird happens at all. Yep. When you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun. Oh, yeah, it is. Like I did at TwitchCon. No. Nah. Oh, okay. It's all the sad. Okay. Well, uh, that was fun. Never to see this event ever again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Obviously, we're going to do the rest of the event. Not right now, because it is very, very long. Let's let's go find Venti. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Venti. What the fuck? That's... Ominous as fuck. That is so fucking ominous, dude. <laughs> Don't jump. I, I love the duality of chat. Don't jump and do a flip. <laughs> Try hitting him. It looks so funny. Wait, huh? <laughs> Why does he just flip around? What? <laughs> he just fucking... So don't do that. <laughs> that is good. Hey, wear a fucking mask. Uh, uh, guess I shouldn't get too close to the cats after all. God damn it, Venti. Bless you. I'll just... Oh, I'll just stay on the roof. Oh, you're so cute. Hey, Venti, it'd be a shame if a bit of wind <gasps> you washed us both off the edge, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. 